and the country's most famous newlywed. It's only a few weeks since she was a blushing bride, but she's back bigger than ever. Katie Price, a.k.a. Jordan, will be here. And now, as Jordan is on the show, in her honour, please allow me to introduce you to my bevy of busty beauties here. <laughs> right. Oh, we're dying to get Jordan on here. Yeah. Let's look on. As our alter ego Jordan, Katie Price is the country's most successful glamour model. She's lived her life in the pages of the Daily Papers. She's met her husband on a TV show. We all saw that, of course, didn't we? The newspapers claimed it was all set up and the relationship with Peter Andre was just a publicity stunt, but she's proved them wrong. After giving birth to her child, Junior, who we've seen earlier on, and he's gorgeous, image of his dad. Oh, yeah, uh, that was earlier this year. She had the fairy tale wedding of her dreams. I ask our family and friends to witness. I, I ask our family and friends to witness <laughs> that I promise to spend the rest of my life with you. That I promise to spend the rest of my life with you. It now gives me great pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> Please welcome Mrs. Andre. Mrs. Andre, that's yeah. the first time I've heard that. Is that a set? <laughs> yeah, it's really weird when you said that's like Mrs. Andre. Oh, Does that nice sound nice? Yeah. yeah. No, really I'm good. Say, you see, I was worried to death that I'm going to be in the show. I'm going to look flat chested today. Actually, yours actually look bigger than oh, mine. Exactly, I'm quite proud mine of myself. Mine aren't as big as yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me see. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that big, but they're not as big as what people make out, but just let them say it anyway. Yeah, what size are they? I'm um, 32D, sometimes a double D, depending when you buy the bra. Oh, right. I'm more transfixed by those eyelashes. I know I've got a set of lashes on today because I can't be bothered to do all the eyeshadow and that. Oh, it's yeah. quick just to stick the lashes on. I'm quite obsessed by that ring. <laughs> do you know, I'm hiding my hands. I haven't got my wedding ring on. And I thought you would say, why haven't you got your wedding ring on? It's because it, it was too ring? big and I've had it made smaller because I couldn't bend my finger. That's what I did oh, with my engagement ring. Yeah. Yeah. I've had it made smaller. <laughs> 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 yeah, it used to be a big diamond. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you are a bit of an enigma though, aren't you? People think that they know you because we've seen you on television so much and and magazines and what a and nightmare the rest I am. Of it. Yeah. Well, but it's difficult to know what you know who the real person is and you tend to get two camps don't you people who say oh she's shrewd she's a sharp cookie and other people who think you've just made your money through getting your your kit off nothing wrong with that either well which one would you like to be I'm really proud that I've got my kit off because look, yeah. I've got the house and my dreams I've got the cars I want I could buy anything I want I'm set up for life so people can knock me but at the end of the day I'm grateful for what I've done and I'm grateful I've got the body that I can use it. But that's, so that sounds like it's quite important to you to have money and, well, money. Mm. Uh, no, it's not money, but I've set myself up for life and my kids will never have to suffer. I can always give them the best. And I think it's important, you know, I'm, luckily I don't have to ever struggle. Mm. Well, how, well, if you say that, how long do you think you can carry on doing what you're doing for? Um, until people like yourselves have been booking me. <laughs> <laughs> and when people stop booking me for jobs, then I'll come down the ladder. But until then, I'll carry on working. And what about the TV so. thing? Because I'm fascinated by it all. I mean, do you regret doing any of that at all? Cause it's Not such at all. A, We're actually doing the third series now. We're already starting to film that. But it's such an invasion, isn't it? I mean, they must be around all the time. And you've I just love got married. <laughs> Not... I love it. <laughs> it. It doesn't bother me. It's, you know, why not? I choose to do the job I do, so... Why not? Everyone thinks they know me, so just show them. Mm. There's going to be a time, though, isn't there, when you're going to wake up and just go, oh, just go away, the lot of you. Oh, I do say, and I do say it to them. When they turn up in the morning, I'm like, please keep the camera out of my face, I'm in a bad mood, da da da. And they're like, okay. But the one thing that comes out of that that's so obvious is like, yeah, I'm going to ask the question and see what you say because. You can ask me whatever you like. Who wears the trousers in your house? I think it's equal. No, it's no not. Way. It's so <laughs> Jonathan Moss, because there were two guys on that, and I thought they're not going to pick on me. So, but you automatically put up your defence, didn't you? And you're like, you know, it's like you're having a go at P, and everyone's going, poor P. <laughs> how can you know? How can you be so horrible to him? Believe, believe me, we both wear the trousers. I, I know how to push him. If I push him too far, I know, you know, I know how mm. far to push him. What, what, why, why are you with him? What, what do you love about him? 
I love everything about him. He satisfies me, fits just everything. He makes me laugh. I love him. He's really good with Harvey. He's a family man. He's a good cook. Not that that matters if he's a good cook or not. It helps. Um, <laughs> I don't know, and we just so get on. And, you know, everyone said it was for publicity, but let them say it. I know that we're in love and... And yeah. is he good, like, you know? <laughs> he's definitely uh, not an acorn, put it that way. <laughs> I can say that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just trying to get to know you a bit better, what would you say is your best quality and what would you say is your worst quality? Um, well, I'm a Gemini and like I say, there's a Kate side and a Jordan side and I think I use them both well. Now, what's your best quality and what's your worst quality? <laughs> um, my best quality is making money and using my head to know how to do it. Right. Um, I think I'm a good mum. Um, I don't know really. And your worst quality? No one's ever asked me that before. My worst quality? Um, I'm untidy, yeah, that would do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that really as bad as it gets? I don't, I don't really think there's anything that bad. Mm. So really? what do you want to do, like, what's your ambition? What do you, want to, what do you see yourself doing, like, in ten years' time? And... Um, the next thing I'll do, obviously, I've got a fitness video coming out. And the reason I've done that is because I've just had a baby and I wanted to get in shape for the wedding. So I thought this would be a quick way to do it and it would make sure that I do do it. So I've done that. My second book's coming out in February. Yes, there is a lot to say in it before anyone says what's in that. Um, and then I want to do a film to my books. And if it fails, it fails. At least I tried. And the next thing is the pop career. Do you, do you ever care about what anyone says about you? I mean, you, you're very good at saying you don't care. Let them say what you like, because I live my life the way I want mm. to, and, and I'm terrible. But is there anything that stings or has stung? I mean, in the beginning, like yourself, you would know, like, um, you'd read stuff and you used to think, Oh my God, why are they saying this? But then you just get used to it. And I think the worst headline that's ever been said about me is that I was a mother from hell, which anyone who knows me knows I'm not, you know. Mm. And the people who say, if they had a disabled child at home, I'd like to see how they deal with it, you know, because mm. it is hard work. But other than that, I don't really care what anyone says. They're mm. still writing about me using up their pages, so... Mm. Stuff them. And, and I suspect... <laughs> <laughs> and you're very good at giving an outline, I have to say. Yeah. That <laughs> is, um, if anyone wants to say anything to me, that's... Absolutely fine, yeah. but yeah. I've always got to come yeah. back, unless you say yeah. something very sharp. <laughs> well, <laughs> unfortunately, she's not going to get it because we've run out of time. time. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Thank I'm sure you. they'll be writing about you thank for you. a long time to come. Katie Price. <laughs> okay, that's it for us for today, but we'll see you tomorrow at 1.30. Don't be late.